Oh, sorry if I'm a little low energy to start. But we're going to have fun. Is your stream family friendly, Jarvis? I say curse words, but in general, like, I like to, I try to be a good influence. Other than the curse word thing. Okay, let's do it. Je Jealous guy. And I feel like our Darman videos family friendly is the real question we should be asking. Um, Jealous guy stalks ex-girlfriend. What happens is shocking. Okay, here we go. Let me just make sure everything looks good on the stream. What, oh, you played Four Corners at your grandpa's old nursing home? Okay, maybe we'll play a Four Corners round one of these days, but not today. So uh, I just got my new gaming PC set up. Should we go play? Andy? Wait. <laughs> Hang on. Enhance. Wait, I gotta go frame by frame. Sophia is on her way to yoga at the park. Aha, aha. Okay, so his friend is talking to him. Um, oh yeah, is the audio okay? Someone said I'm a bit loud. I can turn myself down. Just let me know. Um, the audio is a tiny bit louder. I'm a bit loud. Video is a bit loud. All right, cool. Um, I just think this is very, this is very funny. I don't think this is a bat in bad prop territory though. The font is, is very funny. This is like the YouTube stories font, <laughs> but still. Sorry, what were you saying? Don't tell me you're still looking at Sophia's Instagram story, bro. Come on, it's been six months. You really should try getting over her. I yeah. am over her. <laughs> right. Wait, was that her? She just walked by? So, uh, what are we doing here anyway? Oh, there she is. Dude, why don't we just go back to my place? I knew it. I can't believe she's with that chump. Damn. Dude, that is rude. He called him a chump. <laughs> he called him a chump. Dude, I feel like he dusted off the word chump. I haven't heard chump in a long time. We gotta bring back chump. Darman is bringing back chump. Seriously? Wait, sorry. We're rewinding for chump. I, play. I knew it. I can't believe she's with that chump. Chump. Seriously, Andy? Yeah, question. Is this a uh, extreme coincidence? I mean, I'm, I'm inclined to say no because I don't think it's that crazy to be at the same park as a ex or something. And he's a stalker, so he probably... I mean, the whole story is about him kind of stalking her. How about we're out here for you to spy on Sophia? Oh, see? Yeah. She hasn't been returning my calls. Oh, God. Like, oh, God. Oh, God. That's so skeezy. I want to make sure she's okay. Maybe she's... Make sure she's okay. Sure. Sure, guy. She's not returning your calls because she's moved on. Based. This dude got a new gaming PC and he's giving his friend good advice. Ba this guy for president. Andy's rocking the chain. All right, I love this guy. Man, nah. She's clearly just rebounding. I mean, look at the loser she's with. <laughs> this face. This is like when I'm on the toilet and it's uh, I didn't I don't have a lot of fiber in my diet. <laughs> That's so messed up. Why did I say that? Andy, where are you going? Gosh. Butterfly. Oh, no. Andy. Oh, people are saying, I was wondering why people were saying sexism because they want to call the sexism thing. Um, I don't know. So good to see you. Uh, how I mean, obviously the, I mean, there's like, what's the word? Um, Not internalized, but like, I don't know. We're running into you. What are you doing here? Oh, Mike and I just came to uh, grab a little fresh air. Didn't know you started doing she, yoga. She's like, she knows he's sketchy. And so she's like, yeah, sure. 
Sure. She's very uncomfortable. This almost feels like, um, I mean, the classic Darman trigger warning, because I feel like this is a very real situation that someone could be in, you know? Yeah, Dale actually got me into it. He works at a gym. Andy. Oh, you're Andy. I'm Dale, Sophia's boyfriend. I've heard a lot about you. So she still talks about me, huh? I tend to have that effect. You know what? The mu I know a lot of people are asking me to call inappropriate music, and it's not because I was like, I was like, do I want to call it? Um, and it is a little distracting. It's like very much in the way, um, and it does not fit the the mo the moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, if you we've got inappropriate music, you can you can check that off. Um, it's not that inappropriate, but it's la like it's effect. It's in the it's like high in the mix. You know what I mean? Like it's just loud, uh, and it's it, it's it's I can't stop noticing it. So I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it. I'm feeling charitable today. It's a combo of the the um volume and the type of music. Oh gosh! And also, this guy's a creep. I you know I don't want to keep harping on it because we've already said it, but. Oh, oh, dude. What the hell? Oh, my God. Oh, God. So you're still the necklace. Oh, God, dude. What the hell? I gave you. Oh. Yeah, I guess I'm just used to wearing it. I forgot you gave it to me. Mm -hmm. I, we don't, I don't think we have a square for, like, dude is, uh has no personal space is a creep is, is a like creep dude is a creep is maybe something we need to add someone can't read body language yeah mm -hmm. anyways we should get going it was good seeing you nice meeting you it wasn't she's just being polite oh god that's so bad bye self i'll see you soon what was that man did you hear him say she still talks about me Dude, no, put him in line, Andy, or whatever his name is. Uh, Mike, Mike. Yeah, Mike. Listen to Mike. I told you she wasn't over. Dude, why does Mike hang out with this guy? Why does Mike hang out with this guy? You're better than this, Mike. Me? Dude, you're ridiculous. All right, you should really just leave her alone. Let's go. What was that stance? He looks like he's like about to fight a villain. Also, this reminds me of like when I'm trying to get Dipper to walk down the sidewalk and he sees a squirrel and he just like is in the stance, you know? And he's just like he's walking forward, but he like can't turn back around. You sure you don't want anything? Last chance. I'm okay. You know, I wonder if we should put the this set in the um if they do they go to the mall? Do they go to the mall set? Cuz I love the mall set. I do love the mall set if I'm being honest. Okay, thank. You. Uh <laughs> someone said time skip uh, slash J. Thank you for the slash J cuz I was about to go off on my normal diatribe about how it's just a scene change and it's not a time skip to change scenes. All right. But you can't have a sip of mine. Well, in that case, I'll take an espresso. <laughs> I knew it. I'll go wait in line. This is so uncomfortable. Oh, hey. Dale, right? Hey, Andy. What are you doing here? Just came to pick up a few things? Oh, oh, the way he looks. Is Sophia here too? Yeah, she's just grabbing us some coffee. Oh, yeah, that's right. Dude, this is not okay. I hope that no one watching this thinks that this behavior is okay at all. This is like so scary. It's so scary. Saturday morning rituals. I remember when her and I first started that tradition. Didn't know you guys used to come here. Oh yeah. It's the only mall. 
in Darman Unit. It's the only mall in the D- DHU. Dart DHU in the DMU. The DMCU. Used to always sit at this table, too. Anyways. Yeah, this isn't an extreme coincidence because this guy is a stalker, and that's the whole point of the the video is that he's a stalker. Good seeing you again. Okay, bye. Oh, before I forget, you mind giving these to Soph for me? Oh, is the screen off? I keep missing the... Where do they Green show rituals. it? I remember when her and I first started that tradition. Didn't we haven't called a lot, just uh, inappropriate music. You, know, you guys used to come here. Oh, yeah. Clearly the wrong person has an attitude. This is not the type of attitude. Used to always sit at this table, too. Anyways, good seeing you again. Okay, bye. Oh. Oh, it is off. Before I forget. I mean, it's a Mac, but I mean, I don't know if it's a bad prop because it's... I mean, the screen could have went to sleep because uh, he's been interrupted. You mind giving these to Soph for me? She left them at my place the other night. She was at your place? Yeah, she didn't tell you? Shoot, I'm I'm sorry, man. I don't mean to cause problems. I better get going. Take care. Wait, I thought you said that he had a few things to pick up. He's he planted fake earrings. He planted fake earrings. I did, but I just remembered I don't need them anymore. See ya. He he's like he's not yet in cartoon supervillain, but he's definitely a villain. Uh, what are these? Oh my god, I've been looking for those. Oh, then he just like he kept them. He just like kept them and didn't return them for this. Where did you find them? Uh, your little ex-boyfriend Andy stopped by and dropped them in. Oh, this is like Disney Channel acting, but then they put it in the cr world's creepiest context. Boyfriend Andy stopped by and dropped them in my Ugh. hand. And he said that you were at his house. Is that true? Oh, wait. Don't we have a square for this? Darman Studios office in the video. So, um... So yeah, mark uh, Darman Studios office in the video if uh, if you've got this. Also, does is Darman's office for real? Oh wait, isn't Live Glam? Hang on, what is Live Glam? Sidebar. Isn't that? Yeah, Live Glam is Darman's company. Also. Live Glam, Live Glam. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, isn't there like, okay, hold on, hold on. Um, isn't like, wasn't Dar, didn't Darman have, yo. Darman was cha charged with 13 felony counts of fraud for defrauding a city beautification program while operating his real estate company. Bro. Yeah, I knew he was like a, a real estate guy too. Dude, this dude sucks, man. I mean, I guess that's not fair. Uh, his I don't like his videos and I don't like his actions. <laughs> I I I I uh We're changing we're not just we're not just telling stories, we're changing lives. Yeah, maybe he's changed, maybe he's changed, but this is a bad look. This is a bad look. Um obviously. And it's like so shitty. Like it's a city he defrauding the city. Like that, I feel like that's so lame, man. Okay. It's in a city beautification program. He got it expunged. Okay, we'll see. Yeah. All right, so, you know. Is that, is that, 
is that true? I mean, I'm not trying to slander the man. The conviction was later expunged. The moral fault. I've never seen this before. I know, dude. I'm sorry about light mode on my, the New York Times website. I, I actually don't know how to turn light mode on everywhere or dark mode on everywhere, but I'm sorry about that. Go ahead and, you know, draft your comments now. Um, the moral philosopher of YouTube. Contemporary fables. This is charitable, dude. What is this? Expunged. The Walmart of weed. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, light mode warning. I'm sorry. Is there like a dark mode for the New York Times website? I, I mean, okay, we're just going to have to relax here. Uh, Here, I'll do... That's not going to help. Um, Maybe it will. Um... Anyway, I, I, I'm, you know, I try to be, I try to do what I can, but you're going to have to let me read this article with, with, uh, with the light mode on. Cause I think people really go off on light and dark mode. Like it, it is kind of, uh, okay. Let me live. Okay. <laughs> you can come back to the stream later. Um, in 2010, when man was 25, he appeared on the cover of Mother Jones for an article about We Grow, a medical marijuana business he helped found, along with an investment banker at Morgan Stanley. He rented a warehouse in Oakland and started selling equipment needed to grow hydroponic cannabis. The venture attracted national attention and was called the Walmart of Weed. Filmed a pilot for a reality TV show, Hemp Ire, which never aired. But long before the business was sold, the partners, but before long the business was sold, Su Mr. Peterson, the guy who he went into business with, sued Darman over unpaid debts and accusing him of running a hydro Ponzi scheme. Really? Okay. But a Ponzi scheme. Interesting. Dude, this is deep. Mr. Man countersued and was Mr. Man. That's so funny. I say Mr. Man all the time as like a joke, but this is literally Mr. Man. Mr. Man countersued and was awarded a cash settlement as well as shares in publicly traded company, Mr. Peterson. Oh, he countersued and won? Yo, he, he, yo, yo, he got, he activated his trap card, man. Holy shit. Dude, this guy is a legal eagle. <laughs> Holy shit. He is. Dude, this guy is, he's activating trap cards left and right. He Uno reverse carded his business partner. Oh my God. Um, later that year, Mr. Mann pleaded no contest to five felony uh, counts defrauding the city of Oakland, which accused him of fraudulently. Oh, SF gate wrote about this. That's crazy. Uh, which accused him of fraudulently pocketing more than 44 K received from city redevelopment grants. He was fined most. That's wild. Wait. What? Wait. They in situations like this, it's never clear if they had to return the money and were fined. But this doesn't add up to me, so I'm gonna assume that's what. That's what it was that he returned the money and was fined, because being fined less than the money feels wild, right? Um. So, uh, da, 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 da. he faced no jail time, but was fined in an email. He wrote the, in an email, he wrote the conviction was later expunged. So he responded to the New York times saying it was expunged. Okay. Um, at 30 years old, I found myself at the lowest point in my life. He wrote on his website. I was completely broke going through a difficult breakup and feeling really depressed. I thought I was a total, total failure. I kept asking myself if things ever going to get better. The next year he started live glam, a subscription cosmetics company and met Laura, his fiance, with whom and they run live glam together in 2018 he began he began posting motivational videos on facebook 
At the time, he said, I didn't know you could make money from content. But that fall, he experienced his first viral hit. The Darman formula, which we, we know very well. Um, blah, 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 blah. They're just describing a Darman video. Wow, if you go to the Grove or something, it's like a mob. You get mobbed by kids. They point and say, Darman, interesting. You know what happens to me on the street? Uh, somebody goes, hey, life hacks. <laughs> and I'm like, yes, I guess. I guess so. Um... um yeah, that happened to me like the other day. Uh, we're going to go back to the video in a second. Content as the great equalizer. What? Mr. Man, <laughs> he's never going to not be funny to me. Mr. Man speaks about online content as if it saved him. I mean... Interesting. Sometimes Mr. Man said people describe his content as a little too on the nose or it's a bit cringe or why is the dialogue so direct, but it's intentional. Well, yeah, that way children can understand, but also people who don't speak English can understand. So that's clear. I mean, that that much I do know. Um, 40% of Darman's audience is overseas, he said in an email. His biggest audience on YouTube is 18 to 24 demo. On Facebook, it's 25 to 34. I mean, that fits in with like the demographic of just those like those websites these days. Facebook and YouTube, yeah, yeah, yeah. He definitely has under 13 people. This is a thing on YouTube where like people under 13 aren't supposed to be on YouTube, but like if you read the comments, people are like, I'm in elementary school and this happened to me or whatever. Um... You will you'll you will never not see a gold digger video, Miss Mulroney. Wait, Mulroney, is that the Mayor Mulroney? Oh yes. This is the the girl who always plays a gold digger. I mean, and she's great at what she does. No no shade to any of the actors in Darman videos tr making a living. Um, at, at all, at all, just so we're clear. Um, you will never not see a gold digger video, Miss Mulroney said. They can twist that story many times. People love those gold digger stories. They really do. Um, Mr. Man's moral philosophy can at times feel thin and absolutist, a common narrative arc, bullying, mocking the, blah, 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 blah. Still, the size of his audience suggests that Mr. Man is tapping into something millions of people find compelling. Okay. Okay, New York Times. In trying times, a pandemic with no end in sight, paired with devastating wildfires. Yeah, this is what you're writing about in a pandemic? Okay. Uh, bleak climate. People want to see villains reformed and lessons delivered. No ambiguity, no debates. Everything just turns out right. Okay. Okay. I think that children will watch whatever is in front of them. And a lot of a lot of the time, I don't want to. I mean, okay. I mean, okay. If you say so. If you say so. Um, shout out to Mil Mul Mayor Mulroney. Great name. Uh, all right. Let's get let's get back to it. Oh, my eyes. <laughs> okay, they are more relaxed. That's just a good old-fashioned uh, ADHD tangent, and thank you all for coming along the ride. Coming along the ride? Coming on the ride with me. How do you even know he works here? There's only a few gyms out here. For those of you who have just joined us, we're watching a horrible, horrible video um, <laughs> called Jealous Guy Stalks Ex-Girlfriend. What happens is shocking. Um... And uh, it is true to form. There is a very, very creepy 
man who is, I guess, the jealous guy, and he is indeed doing stalking. Um, and uh, what have we called so far? So we've called inappropriate music. We've called Darman Studios Office in the video, uh, and I think that's it. And I don't think there's been anything called that's not on my card. Uh, but he's now stalked this girl all the way to Darman, uh, all the way to Darman Studios. Here. Wasn't that hard to figure it out? <laughs> I wish you. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention to the dialogue. How do you even know he? Wait. Is that true? How do you even know he works here? There's only a few gyms out here. Wasn't that hard to figure it out? <laughs> Dude, this man is. He's detectiving. He, that's so it's so creepy dude i my main question though is why does mike put up with this man i feel like mike could do so much better i wish you could just move on also there's a thousand gyms in la but i don't know where they are sophia's my girl she's just confused that's all her and dale don't belong together dude he went full villain mode and mike is just like damn dude i, I got a new gaming computer i just want to play games I honestly, he's the only reason I'm coming around with you is because I want to play games. Can we just go back home and play games on my new computer? Also, yeah, possessive boyfriend alert. Nobody be like this. Kids? Oh, there he is. Don't forget what I told you. Okay, but what happens in the dark always comes to light. Why, why am I recording again? For my protection. For your protection? In case he tries to attack me. This is, this is, um, against the law, right? Also, yeah, are we about to see a parking lot confrontation? You can't just, like, stalk someone. Right? That's not, like, allowed. Okay. Alright, we're, this is, this is about to be a parking lot confrontation. He's on a no parking uh, he's on a no parking thing right there. Hey, you again? What do you want, man? Whoa, whoa, why the hard feelings? I just came to clear the air. Don't, don't do, don't be like that. I, dude, pet peeve alert. Somebody like comes up on you in your place of work, like, li like clearly instigating with you, clearly like stalking your every move. And then he's like, hey, hey, don't be. Come on, don't be so angry at me. What do, what do you want, man? Whoa, whoa, why the hard feelings? Whoa, whoa, why the hard feelings? Leave Dale out of this, man. I just came to clear the air. Look, whatever happened. I don't think a clearly in the wrong person has an attitude here. I No one's really being sassy. They're just like, um, I don't know. This isn't like, this isn't like a teen, like talking back to their parents type of attitude, which is the spirit of that. Um. I, a lot of people are asking for it. I just don't see it that way. It is condescending, but it's not the type of attitude that I'm talking about when I say, like, attitude. What happened between you and Sophia is over now. There's no reason for us to be in communication at all. Is it really over? You can't tell me you 100% believe that. Wait, there was bad ADR. Communication at all. Where? Look, whatever happened. Oh, whoa, whoa, why the hard feelings? I just came to clear the air. Look, whatever happened between you and Sophia is over now. There's no reason for us to be in communication at all. That was, is it really that was, over? That was from the same take. They just switched to a different, like, camera. You can't tell me you 100% believe that, especially after the earrings. She told me she lost those earrings months ago and that she hasn't been to your place in a long time. <laughs> wow. If you really believe that, you're an even bigger clown than I thought. Hey! Oh. Oh, yeah, sorry. Okay, let's go ahead and mark parking lot confrontation. This is, this is a textbook parking lot conf confrontation. Also, Dale, I mean, I get it, but I'm, I'm, I, I'm worried that I'm worried that Dale, uh, you know, might look like the instigator of this because he's, you know, was the first to get physical and we don't like Dale, you gotta, you gotta, that you're playing into his game. Um, okay. What was this one? Parking lot confrontation. Parking lot confrontation. Yes. Y'all, I'm getting pretty close to bingo. Dale, you don't have to do this, Dale. You're giving him what he wants. You better watch what you say. 
he's even got poor Mike is being brought into his game. Go ahead. Hit me. I dare you. you mm, Dale, don't do it. You know what? You're not even worth it. True. Just stay away from Sophia and I. You tell Sophia to stay away from me. From me. I mean, like, you were, wait, what do you mean? You're stalking Sophia. She's trying to stay away from you by, you know, not dating you or seeing you. And you keep showing up where she, where she is. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Did you get it? Yeah, but what is that even supposed to prove? You started it and it's not like he even hit you. True. Mike. You, you, you're better than this, Mike. You'd be surprised what a little editing can do. Oh, God. Okay, this guy's getting close to supervillain status. <laughs> you're gonna get caught. The truth always comes out, one way or another. This is like a, this is a line that's very close to what happens in the dark always comes to light. If it were kids right now, they would say that line. Exactly. And the truth is, Sophia's meant to be with me. Let's go. Good God, if he's at Sophia's place. Leave this woman alone, dude. This is, call the cops. <laughs> like, wait, what the actual fuck, dude? Leave this woman alone. Uh, I don't think that was the dark car. That's not a dark car I know about, at least. Leave, leave this girl alone. Andy, what happened? You didn't hear? Mike is unreasonably calm and forgiving. He's not really forgiving. What is he forgiving? I mean, he's like, I guess he's for I, it's, but he's not, I don't know. I, I wouldn't like Mike is a, a willing participant in something that's fucked up, but I don't know if he's like, don't he might be me. forgiving later. Uh, he's more complacent. Yeah, I agree. He did what? It was all my fault, really. Dude, this guy, okay, okay, okay. Cartoon supervillain, I'm just gonna call it. I can't, I can't. So if you have cartoon supervillain on your card, um, which is one of the one of the cards, go ahead and call it. Go ahead and call it. This dude is gaslighter in chief right now. Um, is this a problematic lesson? Now nah, the lesson's decided at the end of the video. Um, Wife Yuzi, thank you for the tier one. Ice Queen Loki, thank you for the prime. Rebecca PR, thank you for the prime. Bunturn, thank you for the prime. I, I missed a bunch of these. Uh, Erica, thank you for the, wow, six months. Um, Faded Lavender for the resub. Uh, another Satoru. Satoru. Um, uh, Ali Thomas, thank you for the prime. Gon Goozler, um, thank you for the tier one. Even the skeletons, King Slick Rick. Thank you for the tier ones. Um, uh, Malatees, Taylor X Tick. Thank you for the primes. Um, KW Dragon Live for the prime. Gabby Oye for the tier one. I missed a lot of these. I'm sorry. Uh, B Norvell one for the gifted. MX Dashes for the tier one. Unfortunate with the prime. Chris Sandwich for the Prime, JK Taylor for the Prime, AA3 for the Prime, Moonvey for the Tier 1. Okay, okay. Lucy PK, thank you for the uh, gifted. All right, cool. I went to meet up with him unannounced. I sensed there was some tension between us and I wanted to make things right for your sake. So, okay, this dude is all the way. Yeah, anyway, cartoon supervillain. I guess Dale wasn't interested in that. He just started attacking me. Uh, if you're just joining and you need a bingo card, um, exclamation point bingo, and then um, you'll come to this doc, and then how to get your card is right here. You just click this link. No. Dale would never do that. See for yourself. Luckily, there was a bystander there who caught it all on camera. Hey. Luckily, there is a bystander. The rear view, the car is in the video. <laughs> Wait. Luckily, there was. <laughs> lucky there was an uh, there was a bystander from inside my car. 
<laughs> I I hope this is a plot element. This can't be. This has to be on purpose, right? Dark car behind them? That's not the dark car. It got a lot worse after he grabbed me. Oh sure my gosh, I can't that believe this. Convenient. Is is it a, a Rolls Royce? I didn't think so. Doesn't look like a Rolls Royce to me. Clearly in the wrong person has an attitude. That's not what this is. Yeah, he didn't even edit the video. He just like trimmed the video, I guess. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. He told me you provoked him. Have you been crying? Dale and I have been arguing a lot. Because this motherfucker is, is an agent of chaos. First, Sophia, get out of there, please. First he accused me of going to your place. You didn't make it seem like I came over recently, did you? No. You absolutely did. When I saw him outside the coffee shop. Dude, this guy is a ga this is a gaslight gatekeep boy boss over here. And, and 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 not even boy boss, a stalker, <laughs> like psycho, dude. Shop, I told him you left those earrings there months ago, when we used to date. Then he must have lied to see how I'd react. I don't know what's gotten into him. He's been acting so different lately. I'm really I'm, sorry, Sophia. <laughs> probably because he's being stalked by this dude, man. I feel like this is all my fault. I never meant to get in between you two. No, it's okay. You didn't do anything wrong. Are you serious? I, I just don't know Dale as well as I thought I did. Ugh. It really hurts. You mind if I come inside and get some ice? Dude. Um, this is making me mad. <laughs> this is making me so mad. Sure. Oh. Okay, now I need the now I need the classic Darman. This guy gets like what's coming to him. Please make him instantly regret it. Oh we know he doesn't instantly regret it because what happens is shocking. No. You guys look so happy here. I can't look at any photos of us knowing what he's really like now. God. Looks like there's a lot of photos of you too. Why does everything he say seem like but he, it, the way he says it is very scary. It seems like there's a lot of photos of you too. It'd be a shame if something happened to them. Do you want to get out of here? Everything here reminds me of Dale. Yeah, of course. Wait, wait, wait. They broke up six months ago? Is that, is that right? And like, is that how long she's been dating Dale? The reason I ask is because they already have, like, look, I'm not, I'm not here to judge. Uh, specifically, I'm not here to judge this thing in particular, but they've got framed photos. Six months in at their, okay, I mean, I mean, cool. Cool. <laughs> Time moves differently in the DMCU. That's normal? Okay, I don't... Uh, then I don't know anything. Like, my... Okay, all I'm saying is... I And I'm not saying that, you know, it's not normal. I'm just saying that in my life, friends who are married you maybe have photos, like... But like you from events and things like that, for like a mayor, like a you know wedding. Oh, this is funny. Wait. I mean, I don't. Someone said this is a bad prop. Uh, but it's it is funny that this is this is um, this is the same thing rotated. <laughs> Yeah, because it's just like this. This image turned uh, uh, counterclockwise, or turned clockwise, um, or counterclockwise, depending on which way you look at it. Um, but people, someone said people really de decorate like that. Yeah, I mean, I've, I'm not. That's not doesn't throw me. I'm not going to call that a bad prop. Uh, people normally decorate like that. 
I've, I've just never seen two photos that are the same and just one rotated because it doesn't look good. <laughs> like, but, but I mean, it's just bad decoration. Why don't we go back to my place, put on a movie, eat some Chinese food, just like we used to. Dude, fuck this guy. You know, that sounds kind of nice. You know, the six month anniversary, the six month anniversary trip to Walgreens to get your picture, pictures printed and framed. That's what I'm saying. Like, I haven't done that on any of my six month uh, anniversaries, but maybe I'm doing it wrong. Oh, yeah. He's going to put it on his face and it's going to smudge his uh, makeup. Let's go. <laughs> he's like, he's like frozen peas. My favorite. Wow, you really know just what a, yeah, I need to, you know what a guy needs to get cheered up. <laughs> He's like, oh man. I'm so full. Of peas, <laughs> of frozen peas. This brings back a lot of memories. It's nice to have you back here. Uh, can I ask you a question? What's up? Do you ever think about us as in, Never mind. sorry. No, it's okay. Honestly, I don't even know what to think anymore. Dude, this is like so messed up on so many levels. Uh, it's so, even if you, he, uh, okay. So like, even if he wasn't doing this, this, uh, the stalking, if you're listening bad, bad prop is like, I get that the computer was off and the um, sriracha was closed, but like they've got to make something. The bad prop is like they have to make the prop. Um, the blinds on the window. Yeah, so this is... I can't remember if we called it... Now, this is what I would call a bad prop. This has been in multiple videos. This is a set piece of Darman's and they just haven't fixed it. I'll call this a bad prop. I'll call the amalgamation of everything a bad prop. If you have bad prop on your card, go ahead and mark it. Um, but this always makes me laugh. The fact that the the blinds um go over go over the frame. Um I've had curtains like that before. I mean, I have curtains like this right now, and they're not supposed to they're not supposed to go over the frame. Right? Am I wrong? I mean like I, because, I mean, it's okay if they go, I, I mean, okay, fine. I'm going to undo bad prop then. I'm undoing bad prop. I'm undoing bad, uncheck bad prop. We'll find bad prop somewhere else. Um. Oh, curtains go over the frame, but not blinds. Like, these are, you buy these to size. Like, you're supposed to buy these in a correct size. Like, I mean, I have them on my windows all throughout my apartment. Um, but we'll, we'll hold on to bad prop. We'll hold on to bad prop. I will. So I've seen worse props in these binds. I was kind of saying it as an amalgamation of all the tiny things, but, and also just that this is a set piece that is in multiple Darman videos, but yeah, yeah, we'll hold, we'll hold off. I was going to say something else. Um, uh, these aren't even blinds. What are they called? They're called... Um, uh, shoot. Does anybody in the chat know? Shutters? Are they shutters? No, shutters are... These are like uh, shades. These are shades. Yeah, and I do not think shades are supposed to go over the frame. Because the whole point of shades is th that they diffuse the light or they, they like dampen the light, but, uh, they're not like a complete like block of the, of the light. Or at least that's what mine are. That's what mine are. Um, so do we mark it or not? I mean, since people, people didn't want to mark it, I'm going to, I'm going to hold off on bad prop until, uh, 
I mean, just because you've seen it before in real life doesn't mean it's not, it's how it's supposed to be. But, but maybe I don't know. I'm willing to say, I'm willing to say that I don't know. And also I did want bad prop to be, um, for things that are made anyway. So I'm just going to keep it to things that are created by the prop team. Ooh, my stomach. I think I put too much sriracha. It's I'm funny because you didn't put any sriracha. Restroom real quick. Okay. They, also, these containers are se seemingly empty. You know what I mean? Like, these don't look like they were even ever closed. Like, maybe. Like, this one is bent. But, like, they look pretty empty on the inside. But... Oh, is this grandma's house? I think this is grandma's house from the, the, oh yeah, someone said this looks like grandma's house. Yeah, I think this is grandma's house. The only thing they're missing is a cut to the old TV that's like right off screen that's in front of the couch. Hey, I'm a little cold. Mind if I steal a hoodie? Yeah, your favorite one is still in the closet. Oh God, I hate this so much. Go for it. Thanks. Bad ADR for the stomach growl. ADRs for dialogue. We don't have a bad Foley. We don't have a bad like Foley, which is like for the sound environment sounds. Dude, <laughs> what is going on? Oh God, what is going on here? Why don't we have a thing for this? I I want to check something right now, and I don't know what to. I want to check like gross, grossy McGross face. Ugh. Ugh. Just on his bed. A printed out photo just on his bed. Chat's about to be like, this is normal. <laughs> this is normal for somebody who broke up six months ago. What? You don't have photos of your ex <laughs> over your bed? Hey, his, his laptop is <laughs> the homeboy has been out all day, came back with her with Chinese food, and his laptop has been on no sleep mode, draining battery for that whole time. I don't know, man. I don't know about that. Yeah, I, I'm like, okay, extreme coincidence. What do we think? I think it's probably an extreme coincidence. Because of the difficulty for this to have even happened, like in real life, his laptop would have died if he was if he was out. And then also in real life, you have to go into your settings and turn off automatic sleeping when when the laptop isn't in the um, isn't uh, connected to the charger, which is something that you know I am <laughs> I know I'm familiar with. So like for all of that bad prop. Not extreme coincidence. I feel like the coincidence is that it's there on the floor and it's open to the video. And she went into the room and saw it. And it's open to incriminating evidence. You know what I mean? I don't know if it's a coincidence because it would never happen. But isn't that what makes it a coincidence? I'm going to call, I'm going to call this a coincidence. I'm um I'm I'm gonna call this an extreme coincidence. So mark it if you got it. Someone has bingo. Can we uh can we get the um okay, let me view cards. Can random expensive brand count? It has to be mentioned. The ex the brand has to be mentioned. Oh here here we go. Ma Maja Majda, is this your is this your card? Oh, it doesn't wanna. Why is it doing this to me? Oh, there's 16 pages. No shot. Why does it do this? Why did this happen to me? 
No matching cards found. Oh, there we go. Okay, I gotta hit enter instead of search. For whatever reason, clicking search doesn't work. All right. No, actually, I didn't have to put the hashtag, but the difference was, this is random, but like, the difference was if I click here, if I clear, um, oh, it doesn't wanna, oh wait, it worked. I'm just demonstrating, like if I click search here, oh, now it works, now you wanna work. Okay, whatever. Anyway, uh, this person went five for five. So let's see. Inappropriate music, we did call that. Cartoon supervillain, we did call that. Parking lot com confrontation. Darman Studios office in the video. An extreme coincidence. And I'm I'm comfortable calling extreme coincidence that the laptop was open, the video was open on the laptop. The laptop didn't die. After, it, the laptop wasn't asleep. It's like a combo of like prop and continuity stuff. But I I think it's an extreme coincidence regardless. In the universe of the the universe of the, um, yeah, I don't know if, if you apply real logic to this, then it's an extreme coincidence. So congrats. Was it, uh, the person who linked it, Majda, Majda Sunny Latine. Oh God. I'm really messing that up. But is this, is this who is it? Is got it? Was that, was that yours? Uh, if someone can, that's okay. It's Arab. I mean, it's, I mean, it's still like, I, you know, my apologies for fucking it up. Um, okay. So let me try to gift a sub. It never works when I try to do it from here, but I'm going to try here. Let me just go back to face cam real quick. I always try and then. It doesn't, it doesn't work. I'm turning on, if, it, if someone wants to gift the winner. Oh, thank you, Emily, after, after four for gifting our bingo winner. Um, I'm turning on my phone. My phone died. And so I'm going to try and do it from my phone this time or next time. Um, because for whatever reason, in my own chat, I can't gift. So I got to figure that out. Um, okay, let's continue the video. She told me she lost those earrings months ago and that she hasn't been to your place in a long time. If you really believe that you're... Also, no way the audio... No way the audio picks up. Oh, you're still on. Yeah, sorry. No way the audio picks up, right? Okay, here, let me back this up. And then she hasn't been to your place in a long So she hits the space bar. She told me she lost those earrings months ago, and that she hasn't been to your place in a long time. If you really believe that you're an even bigger clown than I thought. Hey! I, I'm like... They, I, I feel like they tried to make it sound like it was uh, picked up in the moment, but like, no way. You better watch what you say. Go ahead. Hit me. I dare you. You know what? You're not even worth it. Just stay away from Sophia and I. You tell Sophia to stay away from me. What? I actually don't. Was that the original lines or was that ADR? Oh, no, it was, because he said the May the same way. You tell Sophia to stay away from me. <laughs> Dude. All right. This is extreme coincidence number two, okay? She found the bruising Sorry uh, about makeup. that. Also, he did a pretty good job <laughs> of making, convincing, like, clearly a makeup art. He's, is he like a makeup artist in his spare time? Should have taken it easy on the hot sauce. Did you not find the hoodie? <laughs> oh, gross. He's like, dude, it's a total paint job in there. I really shouldn't have gone so crazy on the sriracha. No, I'm actually all right. 
It's not that cold anymore, but thanks. Okay. How's your black eye, by the way? Oh, still hurts really bad, but I'll manage. You know, I was reading on it when you were in the bathroom. You really should keep a wet compression on it. Otherwise, the swelling won't go down. Makeup is not an extreme coincidence. I leave stuff on the floor all the time. Good idea. I'll put one on later. That's all right. I got one here. I'll put it on for you. No. I mean... <laughs> I, I know, like, I, I feel like uh, it's very... I, I'll say, to be generous, I, I'll say it's very courageous to confront him at his own place in this situation. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like uh, I would leave... I, I would leave and then, you know, maybe address it then or, I don't know, skip down. <laughs> Shit, man. Just I'm just like, get right out of there, Sophia. Worse. Don't worry, it'll... Someone, someone in the, oh, uh, Sarah in the chat. I will not be generous. This is dangerous and ill-advised. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, you know, it's not the best idea to uh, confront the stalker ex-boyfriend who's clearly faking manipulating the facts and faking their um you know entire everything to try and get you back i'll be soothing i'll do it i'll do it so it doesn't hurt too bad i'll be gentle you do trust me right yeah good what are you doing what is this andy care to i was i think she was expecting to get a little bit more of the makeup to explain? I have no idea how that's possible. So this isn't makeup? No, how could you accuse me of such a thing? Dude, this guy's kind of a good actor. <laughs> He's like, he really sells it. Oh, I can close off the prediction. Thank you. Um, all right, yeah, so someone did get bingo. Yes. Um, I don't know. Maybe because I found this in your bedroom. You went through my stuff? Did she, when did she pull that, put that in both hands? Just a second ago, she was holding the cloth. Oh, don't try to turn this around on me. And I saw the video of you going up to Dale. You completely lied to me. I can explain. I don't want to hear it. I'm tired of your lies. Wait, wait, wait. Dale doesn't know anything about you. She actually has eight arms. And let's face it, you're still not over me. Dude, fuck off. You never will be. You never will be. Oh, God. That's the truth. The truth? <laughs> it's a little <laughs> ironic hearing you talk about that. You have a problem with making things up, which is why we broke up to begin with. You need help. <laughs> yes, Spider I hope Spider this Queen. finally teaches you that the truth always comes out okay. one way or another. Hey, really? The truth always comes out one way or another? Let's keep that in mind, because I feel like that's the new what happens in the dark always comes to light. Is that going to be the lesson for the video? It's going to say, the truth always comes out one way or another, and then Darman. Don't go. At least let me give you a ride. Who's that? Are you all right? Yeah, I'll tell you everything in the car. Goodbye, Andy. Have a good life. Butterfly. I'm not- Oh dear. Oh dear. How does this- like, okay, so first of all, yeah, this this story, like many Darman videos, this is playing with a very serious issue of, like, uh, like, um, abuse, like, emotional manipulation and stuff like that, and it's, like, really not giving the, um, you know, obviously, like, Darman isn't going to handle this with the care it deserves. And then on top of that, uh... I'm not your butterfly anymore, okay? Not your butterfly anymore. I'm Dale's. Okay. You want me? Oh, there's not even a... Okay, so yeah, problematic lesson. There's no, They didn't even give us a, a lesson at the end. Okay, everybody. Thanks for playing round one of Darman Bingo. I hope you... I hope you had a good time, even though that story sucked. Um, I'm going to clear the cards. And should we play another?